the final of Bell. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go over too much of the uh, figure because you've seen just about everything. Uh, the only thing left I had to do, and I probably should have waited to make my update and just make it a final, <laughs> but uh, all I had left to do was put the belt on, the weapons on, do some touching up, tattoos on, and then she was done. So uh, she's pretty much done when you saw the last update. But uh, we'll talk about the belt real quick and uh, go from there. So anyway, the belt's on, and boy, that was a pain in the ass. Uh, the problem with that belt is that you don't have much of a gluing surface for the glue to grab onto. So, you know, I, I could glue it with CA and it would hold, but as soon as you mess with it, it'd break again. So what I had to do was glue it with the CA, handle it real carefully, and then put epoxy clay on the backside, putty on the backside, just to give it some support, give it some strength, and then carefully slide it over her waist and onto her hip. So that's uh, how we got the belt done, or, or together. Uh, the belt's just a uh, wash of um, our raw sienna and uh, burn umber. So it has a base of raw sienna, a sealed, and then a wash of burn umber, and then uh, sealed with uh, satin. And then the buckle is just Prismacolor marker. The short sword, that's just Prismacolor marker and gold paint. The uh, gold leaf paint, that's... Um, um, See the cases of what uh, again a base of uh, raw sienna and then a wash of soft black over the case. So it's raw sienna sealed, soft black, and then sealed again with uh, uh, future. Just one coat. I should probably should have put another coat of future on that. But maybe I will before I set it up. And then her uh, scabbard back here, pretty much the same thing. It's. Um, wash of raw, uh, base of raw sienna and then a wash of uh, soft black and then the ends are the uh, uh, gold leaf paint so that's uh, the scabbard uh, and that has a couple coats of not uh, future but of a clear uh, gloss acrylic the uh, Krylon clear gloss acrylic sealed up so that's the uh, scabbard so that's uh, the belt, the weapons, she's uh, ready to go, she's got her sh short sword, her dagger, her cutlass, uh, she's pretty much ready to go. And then uh, up here, let's see if we can't zoom in, hopefully I won't uh, blur anything. We got her tattoos on finally. Now the tattoo, this is a uh, heart and then she has a, a dragon coming out of the heart. Then on her face is skulls. Uh, I, I that was the last resort. Uh, I, I had a different uh, tattoo for the face, more of a tribal kind of pattern, but I couldn't get it uh, to look right. Um, you know, I have a brother printer, and it sucks. It, it's not a very good printer, and even at twelve hundred DPI, I just couldn't bring the detail out down at this scale. It didn't look right, and I didn't want to use it. And uh, for some reason, this this did this kept all this detailing when I shrink it down. So um, yeah, I just used that. So I wanted something on her face. I wanted her to be, you know, have a lot more tattoos on her than uh, like Black Dog. Don't know why. I just felt it with this kit. So got that on there. And then uh, the uh, cutlass. We got the handle finished uh, and touched up, and that came out pretty good. And that pin's doing a good job holding it, so, so far so good. Because it's kind of weighty, so I'm glad I was able to get a pin in it. And thanks everyone for all the suggestions. Appreciate the help. Even though it's probably one of the worst kits I ever bought, a resin caster kits I ever bought, as far as the quality of the casting, I have no regrets buying it because she looks super. And I'm really happy with it. And I had a lot of fun uh, painting it, too. And... Uh, and that's what it's all about. So it's it's a uh, I have no regrets buying it. It's a great kit. I wouldn't recommend it for a beginner though. But uh, you know I would get a couple underneath my belt figurines and then go ahead and get this and uh, uh, do.
do your thing with it. So, uh, but yeah, it's uh, really cool. I'm really happy with it. So now we got Bell done. Um, it's time to move on to a different kit for our channel. Part of the movie TV series, which I think I'm just going to run it all year because I really have a lot of fun doing the movie and TV series stuff. Uh, that's, I think that's my favorite uh, thing to do. So we're just going to run it all year. It was going to be a series with X amount of kits and then that's it. But uh, I think we're just going to uh, keep on with that series. And then in between the series we're going to do some stuff that I've been wanting to build. Alright guys. Um, that's it. Take care. Uh, have a safe uh, holiday. And uh, we'll see you in our next video.